Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. If you'll look at the north end of the field, we have something coming onto the field. A man dressed in black along with what looks like a casket, ladies and gentlemen. What is that hanging out of the back of that? What does the sign say, ladies and gentlemen? There appears to be a uh, man of the cloth coming to speak to us. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have your solemn attention, please? We're here to honor the unknown mascot. He, he, he's been in, in existent in this campus for the last 30 years. He's reported missing in action during World War II, and rumors of his appearance on this campus back in 1967 were greatly exaggerated. Let us say a word in memory of this unknown mascot, the cougar. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If the cougar's gone to Clemson, that's fine with us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now what does it say? This is now Cayman country. What's a Cayman? Chomsky. I believe Chomsky's gonna be with us here today, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time. All right. The class of 76 and 67 is here today. And 57. But wait. Wait. The queen, Miss Chomsky. The class of 87. The queen. Okay. Well, it's really amazing here, Ted, to see all these people just diving for that candy. You'd think they'd never seen it before. Maybe they're on a restrictive diet here. Wait. Wh C H O M B S. Chomsky! Chomsky! <laughs> all right, all right, thank you. Thank you, Ted Stepp and company, for that incredible halftime show. Well, the CBC Caymans, and it looks like these people came and went. Here they go. The yes, the Caymanites. Yes. Good one, Dr. Or the break in the action. Oh yeah. We'll have to, that's right. We've got to have this. Hmm? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our halftime for you today. Welcome to the start of a new tradition: CBC Powder Puff Football. We're going to do our best, although we have not been provided with rosters. Go North! I think I see Barbie Young out there for the South. Speaking with both coaches, they were trying to analyze the comparative strengths and uh, neither side really wanted to confess that it had the weight advantage. Yes. So we're going to be careful about jumping any conclusions there, too. You know, these, these folks look serious out there. I hate to tell you that. One important difference you'll notice right away is that we are going to play the width of the field, not the length of the field. Uh, this is something else that is uh, untraditional, should I say? It is, and yet... Uh, of course, you know, Bobby, every tradition had to start sometime. And so I guess this is going to be it. It looks as though the South is going to kick off. The North is waiting to receive. 
And uh, it looks like just maybe your announcers are going to have to learn this game with all of you fans. We're waiting to see exactly how. Oh, there's the kick. Oh, Paula wow. Ehrenberg booms the kick, but what a kick. the whistle. Sign her up, South. South may have just found a punter. The North looks a little stunned by that kick. They're all looking at each other, laughing. The refs look stunned. Anybody here who's not stunned? I guess not. Oh, two or three hands right here. Had to keep two or three hands unstunned. That was well, stunning. They weren't stunned. Um, may we say uh, down in front? Oh, there's a kick. There's a kick. What a kick. And the ball goes out of the back of the end zone. The referee signaling touchback. Yes. Uh, Excellent what is, call. What is this? The undergrads against the grads or? Uh... North South. You know, Bobby's not too swift, but I, I didn't brief him on this. That's the North and the South, Bobby. Sorry, Ed. Could be the New York. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. There's one girl there, uh, number 11, Pam Green, very athletic girl, good ball player. Well, we're going to see if your prognosis bears that out. Pam Green. Uh, this is the Ungawa play. She's not out there. Okay, Pam Green barking the signal, shotgun formation, rubbing her hands together, getting ready for that ball. There she Here's oh, a handoff. Hand off. Oh, a double reverse. Look at there she goes, number 66, and down. Stop by number 30. Norma. Number 30 getting right in there, making that play. <laughs> Danya, quiet. <laughs> Okay, I think they lulled them to sleep for the big pass this time. They don't think. The South does not think. You know, I, I think that I just figured it out. Down there, you know? I just figured it out. This is the North against South. Oh, that was quick, Bobby, quick. They don't like the referees, the ref said. That's a ref. In this stage, hi, Matt. Oh, here it comes now. Here it comes. Oh, fake, fake. Oh! Oh, no. Incomplete. Oh. The crowd groans. How you doing, Jay? That was like being at the state fair. It was thrilling. It was. You know something? I think I just figured it out. <laughs> Third down. <laughs> yeah, half time. Hey, what was that? Huh? Okay, we've ran to the left. We've passed to the right. What do we've got left? Twenty-two to twelve north. North is ahead. Twenty-two twelve. Okay, here we are, third down. Pam Green again calling signals. There's the snap back. Too much rush. Quick pass over the middle. Complete. Number 25 downfield. Stopped. Quick play over the middle. Completed pass. We'll see if it was enough for a first down. Hey, Ed. Yes, sir. Joe, Get Joe, come on over here. It's fourth down as North prepares. And here's Joe Hobbs. I want to say we have Joe Hobbs here, North quarterback. I don't want you to let anything on that you're not supposed to let on, but give me an analysis of the first half. Why are you leading 22 to 12? Uh, teamwork. We're all playing as a team. And do you have any particular plan? Uh, is it heavy defense? Uh, do, you, do you have a couple of plays that um, you're holding out? Uh, I think that uh, our team's doing real well. The South is playing tough, and we'll just have to keep up with them the second half. Anything can happen now. They've got tradition behind them. They've got good players. They have, it's going to be a tough second half. They're not going to quit. Well, you've got a lot of vocal supporters here, Joe, and we're with you. Good luck. Mr. Hobbs, uh, I would have to commend you for the untraditional good play. I tell you, some announcers are too commending, you know. I, I, I'll, commend, I'll commend you on that, Bob. Uh, you're awfully commending. So uh, that, was a commend, that was a royal commend performance. I'll, <laughs> I'll traditionally con commend you on that. I'm afraid I'm getting credit for Jim's comments. I really don't want to. He's coming up with them by himself. Here we go, big play. Okay, the North did get a first down on that play. Now Pam Green hands off. Double hand off again. Rolling right, Kim Garrison. Looked like down behind the line of scrimmage. You know, I, uh, I think uh, New York Giants should uh, sign her up. Well, you know, Bobby, it's really amazing the comeback. Last year, Kim spent a lot of her time with her leg hurt. And she, no evidence of that injury from last year on that play, I'll tell you. She yes, was practically around that corner and gone. 
Good I'll, play. I also want to commend the refs. They have not taken the traditional halftime break. Although one snuck over to the sidelines there for a quick drink of water, it looked like. But that doesn't count, folks. It's hot out here today. They're doing a great job. I bet this is better than college, calling any college game. I can't see how anyone would want to do anything else, Bobby, actually. Okay, there's a lateral back pass play over the oh. middle. Paul Ehrenberg's back there on the defense and slapped it down. Looked like one of them was one, well. Number 27, Paula Ehrenberg, the free safety back there. Yep. That's the kind of thing you want to take the gum. Nobody broke me! And a pick. And you fall! It's been all north so far. Okay, here's the snap. Pam over the middle. Ball drops incomplete. Do you notice the screams when that, was, when that ball was released? There were a number of screams, but everybody kept their heads. Looks like a big fourth down here. Close your eyes and it won't hurt. Okay, here we go. Gonna boom a punt. Boom, there it goes. Another kick. And it is. It's down the ball is fumbled and it's down. Okay, and the South will take over. We'll see what happens here in this exciting power to puff game. We want all you fans to stay close. We have an exciting treat. Yes, just another one yet after the powder puff game. The, the cheerleaders from the North and South are doing a combined cheer. They've been working on hard for a week. You'll be sure to want to stay around to see that. That's coming up immediately following powder puff and preceding the second half of the grits ball. You can see they're out there getting excited already. Thank you. I went to grad school. Oh, oh, almost intercepted by Kim Garrison. You know, it seems to me that the stamina of the ladies is a little greater than the stamina of the guys. They're not even changing offensive, defensive teams. They go both ways. I yes. agree, Ed. Yeah, it's amazing. It seems that the word platoon is uh, absent from their vocabulary. I think there should be some guy cheerleaders on the other side, personally. There's some strange cheerleading all going on over there. I think we, Bobby Young should be out there. We have a request for the guy cheerleaders. Hey, here it goes. Lana Anders going deep. The pass right. is complete over the middle to number 47, Billy Stewart, who immediately is swarmed over by the North defense. Bobby, that was a good catch. A lot of traffic there. Good concentration on Billy's part to make that play in the midst of coverage. Yes, uh, Billy is a uh, is, uh, okay, is, uh, got athletic person. <laughs> we've got a male cheerleader. Jim yes, Barnes is going to town. There he goes. Completed pass again. Over oh, the that's middle, Andrea. Pass. Now, I have to get something straight. Jim Barnes is not the new mascot, is he? No. We need to put that room at a rest right away. Uh, the crocodile uh, was the mascot and Jim is the cheerleader. Is that right? <laughs> He's assisting with cheerleaders. He is not the mascot. Yes. Yes, we want to be careful about it. Oh! Watch those fingers. I would say that was a pretty physical play. Once again, we want to welcome all you latecomers up there on the hill. Can you, I hope you can see it here, all right? Yes, thank you for waving in. The TV cameras are on yeah, you. Right. Yes, we've got you on camera. Say hi, Mom. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> yes, uh, crowd, uh, turn your attention up to the camera camera booth up here we have Phil Sanders on the camera oh good play there pass intended for Lana Anders that came within inches of being one of those patented pickoff down the sideline see you later interceptions by Pam Green and for a small fee uh, you can uh, rent this uh, video during the year and watch the game all over of course if your team lose you might not want to do that Pam we've got that one on video but just in case why don't you do it again 
get up there. You know, these girls look uh, look pretty organized, Dan. You mean the south and the north? There's a pass back, quick pass over the middle. Drops incomplete. You know, I think uh, if they if they chose to, to fake that up the middle and go long, uh, they might get a big gainer. What do you think, Bry? Very possibly. Of course, you would have to have someone that could throw it long. That's the problem. Uh, that sounds uh, pretty biased. And you're I... supposed to be a... Uh, uh, neutral? Yes, I am, yes. Ed, Ed was the one that tacked the non-objective comment onto my objective comment. That's a subjective analysis. But objectively so. Here we go. An objective sort of, okay, pass right. Oh, Paula Ehrenberg, ball out of her hands and intercepted by the North. Ah, uh, there comes the uh, North players back into uh, the area. Big number 63, Ken Labrizi, been playing for the last four years. Biggest player, I think. Big play they, there I think as the ball the goes over. Looked like the pass hit Paul in the numbers, but popped out. Probably hit the shoulder pad and dropped out. Intercepted by the North. Zero zero here. We don't know exactly how much time is left, but in this zero zero defensive battle, the tension is just electric. You can feel it on the field. You can feel it in the stands. Pam's rolling out. She's got a person open. Carol Rexroth, the oh. intended receiver. Oh, and broken up. Watch Broken me mark. Defender right there on the play, number 21. Broken up by number 21. Cynthia Good Rosevere. play. What's remarkable is that even though this is a physical battle, I see bodies flying all over the place. There's not been a flag thrown. <laughs> I think the, uh, I think you're right there, Ed. Okay, Pam Green looking. Moves left. Oh, a good anticipation, and it's picked off by Lana Anders right at the sideline. Complete. What a play. Bobby, it looked like, it looked like the defense really read Pam's eyes on that one. A split second hesitation and the defense reacted to it. Morris, we got a big defensive player here for the North and they have a 10 point lead and I know they've got a game plan. Boris, how are you gonna hold the lead? Just play tough. And uh, do you have any suspicions what the South's going to throw at you? No, nah, they're just going to, they come out tough, but we got to be tougher. The man says he's ready for whatever they've got. Good luck, Bart. Okay, let's have a hand for the Powder Puff teams. Okay. Final score, zero to hey. zero, the start of a new tradition at Columbia Bible College and Seminary. And now, the North and South combined cheerleading squad will present as a special attraction, a cheer that they have been working on for a week. And when we see it, I'm sure that it'll seem like they worked on it much longer than that. Can you uh, turn your attention, fans? Can you turn your attention up here? Uh, it uh, has been reported that it's Ed Germain's birthday. Let's sing happy birthday to Kay. him. Happy Simple birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Eddie. Happy birthday to you. It's a long story. <laughs> I'm as old as I was yesterday. Bobby lied to you. <laughs> we missed his birthday, actually, folks, so we but had to thanks. sing it this You're time. You're all gone. It was August 11th, but thanks a lot. <laughs> belated, belated. No wonder Bobby likes you. All right, we're going to break tradition. We're going to start tradition. This is the year that the North does not choke. Well, uh, Ed, I, I, I'll tell you, I was over uh, with the South players when they first gathered over there, and uh, 
they, uh, they sound pretty upset. Uh, so, and it sounds like they have some uh, a game plan to come back. Uh, I feel confident in the South, Ed. Uh, they are, they're a strong team, smart players, uh, organized. And uh, they gave the, the North a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, chances. Uh, and the North took advantage of it. Let's see what the South can do second quarter, second half. Well, I'm going to tell you now, I know the North catches on fast. They think fast. They talk fast. And they've got this guy, Todd Norris, on the South. And I'm sure that they've done something to stop Todd Norris this half. Uh, here I have the uh, fiance of an uh, ex-great player for the South. Uh, this is Charlotte Coleman, fiance, fiance uh. of uh, Mike Glass. Big player last year, big play man the last three years. Uh, Charlotte, uh, what can you say for Mike in his absence? I think uh, that the South may have a possibility of not doing too well since Mike's out this year. 